Well, welcome back, everyone. I didn't think it would be a cutscene as I entered the town. But, uh, Mr. Rashad, you have returned. Does this mean you have completed your trials? Yes, sir, and we Master's Lowen's taught us a whole bunch of neat stuff. I'm happy for you, but this is no time for celebration. The city is in grave danger. The volcano is... Don't, don't worry your pretty little head about that. Your sage shit. We sorted that out, too, while we were at it. You, but how? It's quite a story, Father. You see... So not only did you succeed in completing the trials, you also prevented the volcano from erupting. That is quite a tell. It would seem that our potential is even greater than I imagined. But for Shadar himself to appear, it seems his game has entered its next phase. I must look into this. Thank you, Mr. Rashad, Mr. Rashad, sir. We shall go it back to our journey. Do we have to, Olive Boy? I'm flipping knackered mind. Can't we just stop by here for a bit and have a nice banana banana or two? This time, there's no time, Mr. Drippy. Other towns could be in danger. Mr. Rashad, I need to learn more magic. I need more powerful spells. You have proven your ability. You overcome the trials and save the city. I have nothing more to teach you. You will learn more, Oliver, but you will learn much of it from yourself as your journey continues. I will? Yes, yeah, so there's a limit to what can be learned without inter interaction. instructions. Very well. You must visit my fellow great sages. And you must learn what they have to teach you. He's right, Ollie boy. Shadar is one tough cookie. You'll need all the help you can get if you're going to beat him. But where can I find the other great sages? Alicia, she who once fought alongside me, fell fell of Shadar and her soul was sealed away. But there are two more. They are out there somewhere. There is useful somewhere, ain't it? Ta, sage face, fat lot of use of you are. I do not know their exact whereabouts, but I believe one of them resides in the city of Hamlin on the continent of Atamana. Helium Ha, thank you very much, Mr. Rashad, sir. Oh, yeah, that's far away from the east. You'll need a boat to get there. So you'll need to go via Castaway Cove. It's the closest port. To, to reach it, you must cross the desert to the south of here. Cross the desert to the south, huh? Is, is, is that far away? Don't worry, Oliver. I'll show you the, the way. Yes, sir, you mean... Yes, I'm coming with you. We travel together from now on. But are you sure? Of course I am. We're both fighting for the same thing, aren't we? And you already know how powerful having me around can be. You bet I do. But Mr. Rashad, is it alright if Esther comes with me? Mm, I know my daughter. There's no stopping her when she set her mind on something. I have a little choice to agree. Esther, you must make yourself useful to Oliver. You must not become a burden to him. Of course I won't. I'm a great sage's daughter. Ha! Huh, truly you are. Then it's side, Oliver. Please take care of my daughter. I will, sir. <laughs> Look after me, won't you, Oliver? Oh, no. Oh, and I'm sure you will too, Drippy. Welcome aboard. Oh, oh. I am an afterthought, is it? Right out. I can see how this is going to work out. Still, I suppose you do brighten the place up a bit. Go on, then. More the merrier, I suppose. Well, Father, I'd better be going. Take care, daughter. May the ancients watch over you. Thank you, Mr. Rashad. We'll come visit you again real soon, I promise. There's a great sage somewhere in the city of Homeland from the east. You must find the sage and I must investigate Chadar's activities further. Oh, I thought you had a shop. I, could, I thought I could buy here. I'm sorry. I thought you owned a shop. What's over here? What can I buy from this lady? Hoot hoot. The owl lady. Oh, hello. Can I help you today? Oh. I thought you guys would have, uh... Better selection of um, items. See, so see, ooh, a chest. What's in you? Ooh, a sandwich. Hell yeah, bro. I'm always hungry. All right, let's uh, get her going. I guess I can complete this uh, guy's quest right here. By the answers you've gathered, the ingredients I asked you for to mix them in. The work of mere moments for a master such as myself. Boom, he's done. It is done. You have the honor of possessing the quality of the Shrek's most creative special spice in the right hand. Say real pretty curry beyond compare. Nice. Well, thank you, buddy. Now, what's this guy over here? This guy's glows blue over here. I don't know if I completed a quest for him or not, but we will see. I saw that last second. 
Hey, buddy. Interesting. Very interesting. Unless I'm very mistaken, which of course I'm not. You keep familiar, am I correct? Yes, but, uh, what do you ask? I think I'll find what I just, the person I've been waiting for, excellent. And how exactly will you find what you are on about specifically? I think you'll find that my name is, in fact, Joran, and that I am highly responsive researcher in the field of familiar jury. I'm currently in the area of collecting and pointing data on creatures that can be tamed here in more abroad regions of the world. Oh, you are, are you? And you don't tell me you're too much of a whim to go after them yourself, so you want us to help you, is it? Precisely. I would like you to offer you an opportunity to assist in some of groundbreaking research with taming certain creatures and bringing them to me for study. Alrighty. Good, uh, I hope you won't let me down. Which creature do you want us to tame, darling? Let me see, let's see. Ah, uh, yes. I need to collect a special creature said to remain a bunch of her bananas and one wears a purple chobran. If you bring them to me, I can cast my expert eye over them and make them a few undoubtedly highly simulation observations. Oh, and I cannot study them if you send them to the familiar retreat, so please don't waste my time by doing so. Run along, then bring them both back to me, and I'll be sure to acknowledge your creation in my next fire paper. Don't worry, Spicy will bring them back with BCs before you can say, Kylo, cry Patozi. Okay, so he has a quest for me to do now, which I didn't know I could do. Um, let's turn into this, uh, ooh, wait a minute. Nice. We'll go do the curry powder one real fast, and then we'll go do the familiar one. Run, Ellie. Oh, there's another face I can loot. Nice. Blindness be gone. Oh, hey, it's my buddy. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. I don't have enough mana for that. Wow. But this is you've gathered all the ingredients. I can create the legendary Tika Mejia at la long last. I will begin at once. In but a short while, friends, you will be able to feast upon the most fable of all curries. Tiny, I can't flip away, can you, Ollie boy? I sure can, boy, oh boy. Savor the flavor of the Ooh. legendary Tikka Mahala. Ooh, I like his wow, accent. Wow, this smells great. It really does. Wow. Sorry, man, I just can't hold back. I'm going in. Yeah, me too. Here goes. Want to be too spicy for them? Oh. Crikey, this spicy oh. beef and veg is a marriage made in curry heaven. Mm. Hey, look, there we go. The Raj Mahal is a spicy oasis in a desert of disappointment. Mm. I never had it before, but this is the best curry I ever ate. Nice. <laughs> you are surprised and elated, I see. The Sheikh's special spices never fail. The delicate harmony of spice and tender beef intertwining with the subtle aroma of you. Hmm? We don't give a fuck. We're eating that shit, bro. But they are not listening to a word I say. Oh, Hell no. Eat friends and be merry. Raj's curry pot never runs dry. Yippee! Let's go, baby. Mm, I love curry. Yeah, my inline of gratitude thanks to you that Tiki Mahala is no longer a relic of the past, but a live and breathe in part of the Mamuni culture. This is surely not enough to compare, compensate you for your troubles, but please, I must give you something for what you have done for me. Ooh, five bowls of the Tiki Mahali and 200, 200 gold. So yeah, boy. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Yo. Nice. Can I buy more? Can I buy the stuff from you? How come I can please take you right off your feet? Oh, I can buy the curry. Restores 150 HP, but it costs 200 gold. That's not bad. That's really good. So I need to remember. I come back here if I ever need like uh, high grade healing items. Just eat the curry, man. You're healed real fast. Yes, eat the curry. All right, let's go look for those uh, monsters to make familiars with. Let's uh, get to going, Ali boy. I know I have no magic points, but you know, we'll make it work.
how to read. I go back? Wait a minute, now I'm confused. What creatures do you need again? Are you calling special creatures that to ramble a bunch of unriped bananas and one that wears a purple talabam? Oh! Oh, okay, I need to go get the banana guy. Go up the purple to about one guy. Who knows, I might have one. Let's check. No, I don't. Okay. Well, let me go grind that one out, guys, and I will be right back. Oh, alrighty, guys. After a couple hours of grinding it out, I finally got it. I have both. What do you mean? Oh, I thought I grabbed both of them. Damn it. Not bad, guys. Been been grinding nonstop. That banana guy took way too long. Oh, yeah, exactly. Just want to look at that. The bunch of bananas, per possibly for defensive purposes, and the rich purple of the turban. I think you'll find that to discourage predators. Yes, these are indeed the creatures I wish to study. Now the best estimates, perhaps, but they'll do. Gee, he could at least say thank you. Yes, he flipping well could, the uh, ungrateful little so-and-so. But yeah, some, uh, some very interesting data. This will certainly raise some eyebrows in the familiarity family. It's no use, man. Species here in the world of his own. Come on, let's leave him to it. Oh, here. Oh, nice. Dude, that took way too long to, like, get those. That's been, that's super annoying. Um... Why is there still one? What? There's another crest back there? Really? I thought I was done. What other crests do I have for that person? Oh, well, let's go check it out because now I'm confused. <sighs> oh, it's this guy again. Great. Oh, I say, the young fella, I made a ding-dong deal, and here you, you get an old thing. What are the chances? Hey, jolly good to see you. It's good to see you, sir. Are you writing about your AMLU now? Indeed I am. The desert is badly swelling, and but one can't say one has been honorable to it without squeezing in a little volcanic variant, don't you know? Jeepers, he climbed old Smokey. Hardly, as my maiden aunt always remarked, I'm not the most courageous of fellows, but I did plot around the foot of the old place. And jolly what it was, too. I inspired me to write rather more of his little passions for my memoirs. So let me retell it to you. Oh, brother. Oh, dashing brother and confide it all. What's wrong? Well, uh, I seem to have misplaced the old diary that again, dash for what I am. Jolly embarrassing, of course, given my sword and promise to you at last time we met. I see rather a scatterbrained old lemon. I say, couldn't you come to the aid of the party once more and could you, uh, could you old stick? Yeah. So we can't leave it to us, mister. Uh, the fire of you brings a tear to once chatted uh, old eye. The way the fancy talk, you, where did you drop the flippin' thing this last time? Oh yes, of course, I seem to remember Carberry's in a little something where I'm learning against rather a final tree at the foot of the volcano there. I've been somewhat lost in the mysteries of creativity, of course, quite which tree escaped me. I didn't venture too far up the slopes of mine. Find the tree in your old beam diary. Sure as eggs it is eggs, they uh, uh things awfully old boy. Alrighty, well, let me um Hopefully the guy's book is right here. Please don't touch me. I just wanna get this over with. This is the diary. Containing a bane flower. Oh great. So that wasn't it. What do you mean? The book should be over here. Where 
Where's the diary? <sighs> oh, I found it. How? Hey, I wonder if this is it. The old Duffer, Duffer's diary, it's a bit burned around the edge of his mind. Well, I'm sure he'll still be glad we found it. Let's get back to him, Mr. Drippy. Awesome. Tim the Traveler's diary. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna give this to the fat man and we will continue on our way. Alrighty, let's give him his diary and be on our way. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. This is your diary, is it? Well, I say you're a model of a treasure, a brick of the first order. Try not to lose it again, okay? Oh, absolutely. You have my most solemn promise, my vow as a gentleman that will never leave my side again. Here, I will, our dear boy. Ooh, a hollowed habit. Nice. Nice. Let's go. Nice. What equipment can I give to you? Um, yeah. What can I give to you? I guess that's it for all of them, so let's uh, be on our way. Leave this town behind us and go to the port. Hopefully nothing bad happens once we get over there. I want, I want smooth sailing, man, okay? No more exciting, exciting stuff, all right? Alright, time to get going. Well, actually, they've been grinding for a minute. Everyone's ready to metapause or metamorph or whatever. So we'll, we'll do that real fast. Yes. Oh my god, he gets eyes. A bone ranger. Yes. He's evolving! Let's go! Dude, that thing's kinda cool. Mr. Bo is metaphored into a bone ranger. Yeah, that's kinda cool. What are you involved into? Big horn, little big horn, big horn. Okay, bet. Yep, let's do it. Let's go. And. Fire crake. Um, what do you change into if it's if it looks cool enough? Oh, oh you don't want any of this? Okay, fuck you too. All right, let's get going. God, this place is so cool. Cannot wait to leave it behind. That's right, you better run away. I'm too OP. What is that thing in the distance? That hog thing? Bro, this is- oh my god, there's so much more cool looking stuff over here. It's a weird looking rabbit. You obtain a whetstone. Oh. Nice, I guess. Oh, you wanna challenge me, boy? Okay, the cat pirate looks kind of cool. I actually want that. Oh, he... I didn't mean to do that. Oopsies. I just wanted him to attack. Why are they so strong? I don't like this. Change back. Kill that cat. Kill it. Why are they so strong? Die, please. Oh my lord. We did it! Why were they so strong? It wasn't even fair. Jeez, we went from one to four. Jesus. Good another some good XP over here. Jesus. That was a 
That was a bit much, don't you think? A wombat. Kill them! Kill them all! No, don't sweat or never give up! Easy, man. Easy. We did it. Let's go. Everyone's leveling up. Good lord. I actually want to... Switch places with him. There we go. What is this? This thing looks weird as hell. Is it a tombstone with legs? It is a tombstone with legs. That's crazy, man. Okay, that's enough. Don't worry, I'm gonna kill you. Don't worry, you're going to die. Jesus. Oh, good counter. You're dead challenging me, boy. Might want to rethink that. Oh, oh, I get the pirate cat. Let's go. Yo, that thing's so cool. Hell yeah. A purloin. Yo, let's go. Yeah, I want to keep it. Percy, you know what? I will let you be Percy. That thing's kind of cool. And it's a tank, baby. Let's go. This guy's going to be my assassin. Dude, his attack speed is a four. And his movement speed to three. It's way better than this guy. Damn. I better level up his evasion. He seems more like an assassin type and be able to dodge. Ooh, do I have stuff to feed him, actually? Let's feed him stuff, because why not? Give him that mid ice cream, bro. Oh, salt ice cream. Nice. He doesn't sound. He doesn't sound like he likes that. I'm so sorry. But you will learn how to invade. No one will be able to touch you. That's my hope, anyways. Basically, he'll be invasion and attack. I'm going to train him to be an assassin. Okay. Nice. Now we're going to increase his attack. Oh, he liked that. Oh, hell yeah. He liked that a lot. Nice. Keep that around because he likes that. Level up his attack and his evasion would be nice. The little, little assassin cat. Man. Dude, that's gonna be so cool. Castaway Cove. Let's go, baby. What do you guys got uh, got to offer me? Oh. Jeepers. Well, this place is neato. Stop, thief! Uh, thief where? That man, he ran out with a huge pot. Come back here, you must pay. Someone has to stop him. It's a uh, daylight robbery. You're not going to let him get away with it, are you, Ollie boy? No way, we need to go after him. That's the spirit proper brave you are, man. No wonder you passed those trials. <laughs> I knew you would say that, Oliver. Let's chase him down, that criminal. All right, come on. 
Ooh, we're gonna get him as soon as I grab whatever it is in here. Nice. What a weird ass crab. What is this crab doing? Look at that crab. He's just eating the wall. No, no, F's given. Ooh. Ooh, sacred dagger. No fish tusk. Ooh, we gotta do all of these, bro. Fire seal, fish burger. All right, let's get, get let's get this going. I'm just accepting, man. I'm just accepting. Oh, this is oh nice. They yeah, aren't available now. Nice. Go and see what's wrong with the fisherman. Uh, find out what's troubling the forest driller. Go find out what the uh, designer wants. Okay. Awesome. Neato. Oh, hey. Oh, hey there, girl. What's up? Damn. Yes, yes. So this is this is the future. Gee, ma'am, you so do seem happy. No doubt I do. I have essentially visualized a swimsuit more elegant than anything that has come before it. For the designer, no joy is compatible. And only acquire the materials and my vision shall be realized. Ha, ah, perhaps you can help. Ah, us, really? Yes, yes. Would you do something for me, perhaps, in the name of ancients and all other enlightened get? My new swimsuit design requires a certain material that is rare, but by no means unattainable. I wonder if you could fetch it for me, perhaps. Ah, uh, Casper Crove, uh, this is a favor of the job. Yep, now do it. Oh, thank you. It is a rainbow leaf that I require. These are usually carried by the forests. Three should suffice, I think. Uh, what, what's a floor? Keep up, Ollie boy. They're the creatures that roam the shimmering sands. I, they, the, you must have seen a couple. The thing is with rainbow leaves, though. Oh, the fairy knows his fashion. I think there is indeed an additional companion. The rainbow leaves that the floor carry must be cooled down before you pick them. They will otherwise wilt before your very eyes. It makes life difficult, I realize, but the design of the slot has never been easy. But how are we meant to keep them cool, cool them down if the flares are holding them? Hmm. Oh, what the icy spell you got again. Frostbite, isn't it? Try knocking the flowers out with that. Should keep the leaves nice and cool, I reckon. That sounds like a plan, Mr. Trip, but let's give it a try. Neat. So let's go down here. Oh, hey, look at this face. Let's go. More chocolate. Lady, I'm probably gonna need your heart. Give me your heart. Hmm, what should I prepare for her tonight, I wonder? Are you cooking dinner, miss? Indeed I am. This is an old lady who lives alone near here. You see, I assist her with her domestic task and so on. So you're her maid, huh? Oh, 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 nothing like that. It is merely something I choose to do. The old lady she cared for me when I was a child, I am merely repeating the very many favors she performed for me. There ain't a lot of people who do that kind of thing without asking for a single girl and her in return, you know. This one's got more kindness in her little finger than most folks who have in their whole body. I see you, miss. We were wondering if we could be able to help with something. Oh, you require my assistance. That's right. We were hoping you'd be able to share a little of your kindness with us. There's something, uh, somebody who needs it, you see. Hmm. If I help someone who is in need, how could I possibly refuse? Thank you very much, miss. Give me your heart! It belongs to me! I'm taking it! Hmm. I love stealing people's souls. Yeah, the woman fuzzy gift of generosity. Yeah, boy, let's go. Uh, the thought that I might help someone else gives me the greatest satisfaction. I bet it does. Let's loot the chest. I have obtained a sandwich. Hell yeah. What do you got in you? What a wonderful weather a sign from the answers that I am due a bountiful haul, perhaps. So you're a fisherman, huh? I most certainly am, and I am about to heed what to see. Are you a bit worried about all the monsters that have popped up around here? Monsters? Huh! No fisherman is worthy of the name would give such terrifying concern in a moment. A moment's thought. You're not scared of monsters? Of course not. Why, I have already survived one monster attack. I drove those creatures away then, and if it's necessary, I shall do the very same thing again. Flippin' heck, man, you almost smell the courage on this one. You sure can't excuse me, sir. Would you like to ask you a favor? A favor, but I must sit still soon, lest I miss the fair winds. 
and beautiful halls that bring. But it only take a sec if we just want to borrow a little bit of your courage. My courage, certainly it is not something I lack. Take as much as you want. Thank you, Mr. Fisherman, sir. Give me your heart! It belongs to me! It belongs to me! Yeah, boy. Yeah, you take some courage. Oh, you finished already that uh, tingling sensation in my chest. That was my heart, perhaps. Your heart belongs to me. Spring the lock, boy. Spring that lock. Yeah, Fishburger, let's go. Curses, why did an affliction I suffer? Are uh, you okay? You don't look so good. I have always been a man of the sea. Becoming a fisherman is my only obligation ever since I was a babe in arms. And indeed, I recently was able to find a Kern's my very own vessel. Oh wow, that's great, Kern Religious, and I'm grateful for your kind words, but time. I suddenly feel myself to the most terrifying afraid of the ocean. The ocean I've always loved. I still cannot bring myself to go fishing what has become of me, I do not know. I fish and he's always scared of the sea. Mr. Trippy sounds like he's broken hearted and black and cozy he is, no doubt. About it, you're going to help him out, Ollie Boy, yes. Sure yeah, I am, I mean he's just got his own boat. Right you are then. Let's see if we can find some courage for our other fisherman friend. Yeah, boy, I got some courage for you. Don't you worry, son. Take some of this courage, boy. You need it. Fling and then flop. That's a chest over there. How do I get that? Mm, oh, perhaps to be to the ancients. Courage smells within the beast once more. You know, so you're not scared of the sea anymore? Not in the slightest, indeed. I shall take it to the waves for, uh, forth forth. Uh, but first, I must show my gratitude. Please accept this way of my thanks. Neat. Alrighty. Damn it. There's no escape. Get back what you stole. What I stole? What are you on about? What do you mean? What am I about? The great big pot, of course. Pod? Oh, this thing? What's wrong with him, man? It's like he doesn't even remember stealing it. <laughs> what do I want with this piece of rubbish? If you want it, it's yours. Oh, oh. snap. Uh, uh. I'm sure it will make you very happy. See ya! What a thief. What the? What was that all about? Wait, wait, he stole something and then just throw it away like that. Yes, what would he? Was he? What was he thinking? I don't reckon he was thinking at all, man. Huh? How do you mean? Well, he ain't bothered what he steals, is it's just the stealing he's in for it, ain't it? You mean he enjoys stealing for its own sake? Yeah, that's about the size of it, I'm no expert in mine. But that's really true, he's even more horrible than I thought. Well, never mind that for the minute. Let's get the old pot back to the peddler, shall we? He must be worried sick, poor fellow. He must talk, okay, let's take it back to him. Oh, poor, oh yeah, Miss Drip, you got it. Well, let's get going. That's a... Looks like a heavy-ass pot for you, Mr. Drippy. I hope you're alright. <laughs> Jesus, man. This is you, yeah. Here's your pot, buddy. Excuse me, sir. I think this belongs to you. Oh, indeed, uh, you, uh, you recovered it? Yes, we did. The thief got away, unfortunately, but we got your pot back for you. Curses. I mean, is that so? You have my thanks. Crackly, don't be too grateful, will you? It's not like it's a flipping heavy or anything. Could be, it's just that I would rather pleased to have finally rid myself of it. Huh? The man you chase, he is a heavy little thief. He does not care what he steals. So as ever, I called him. After I called after him, stop thief. But when I saw what he had taken, I gave thanks to the ancients. You gave thanks for him for being robbed. In this instance, yes, you see the pot. No matter how I try, it will open. Therefore, I cannot use it to store my wares. It's no use to me. Yes, you must take it for appearing the thief. It is the least I can do. You're giving it to us just like that. Hold on a second. You just told us it flipped and useless. And now you're pretending you're doing us a favor by giving it to us? What's going on, man? Uh, perhaps you will think of it as a souvenir of your visit to Codsway. Cast away Cove, the jewel of the seven seas, ahem. I see if you're a great big pot like this. 
Yes, the most wondrous souvenir. It is not a ordinary pot after all. The rumors are to believe I was once used by an ancient royal family. It has an illusion rare and regal history. But if that's true, we can't accept it. It's too valuable. But you must. I am so grateful to you. So very grateful for your help. Think nothing of it. Go on. Take it. Go on. Be gone. Uh, okay. You said yes. Why would you do that for him, man? What do you mean, Mr. Jimmy? Did I do something wrong? I mean, he looked like as if he was going to cry if I didn't take it. He seemed real worried. Indeed, I was worried. Worried that you would uh, think of me ungrateful. Yes, that is what I was worried about. Thank you very much. Something funny here is going on. Come on, tell us there's something wrong with the pot, isn't there? What's wrong? Of course not. It is simply that the lid will not open and perhaps now and again, spine chilling colors emanates from within. But only every once in a while, it is nothing. Ha 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 ha. So they would open, but strange sounds come from inside it. What could that mean? Ah, uh, so that is, is it? Well, it'll, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Huh? You know why it won't open, Mr. Drippy? Nah, man, it'll open. You just need to know the how, ain't it? It is a cauldron, you see? Wait, this is a cauldron, wow. You know what it is, that it is? Yes, I've never seen one, but my father used to have one. All wizards have a cauldron, you see? They do? Yeah, they do, Ollie boy, and the reason it won't open is because it's sealed up tight with powerful magic. But all he needs is the true wizard to say the magic words written in the wizard's companion. As a kadam, the lid will pop off just like that. It will, huh? Oh, but you should try opening it. I should, right now? Why not, man? There's no time like the present. Go on, give it a try. Okay, so the magic words in the uh, the wizard's companion, huh? Let me take a look. What if I... Oh. You do remember how to read your wizard's companion, don't you, Ollie boy? Sure do, Mr. Drippy. I just opened in the main menu and uh, start reading. Exactly. A budding wizard like you should be reading a bit of that book every day. Truth be told, anyway. Get and find the magic words, will you? You have an all day. Uh, but the wizard's companion is kind of long. I mean... It take a while for me to find the white roads. You don't have to read the whole thing, do you? Use your noggin, the magic words for your alchemy cauldron. It'll be in the uh, chapter on alchemy in it. That makes sense, I guess I'll stop looking then. Oh boy. Uh, magic alchemy right here. Have I found it yet? Alchemy. I think I found it. On the magic road to Yolly Boy. Well then, let's not get it over with before you forget the flippant things. As soon as they are ready, stand in front of the children and say that loud and clear, alright? Oh, I have to fly. Oh, I, wow. I actually have to look for it. Damn it. I was hoping to be lazy. Cauldron and genies. Jesus. Oh my god, the magic words open saves me. Let me take a picture of this so I can remember how to spell it. That is crazy, man. 
but it's cool, I guess. All right, let's get this thing open. Oh, open. Where's P? Oh God, where is it? Oh, and where's N? Now it's a space. Says. Dash. Dash. Did I do it? Oh boy, I did. Let's go. Oh snap. What a what a strong and crazy genie. Hmm. Yo. Um. Genie of the cauldron. Hmm. <gasps> What's up, buddy? <sighs> Looking at your body, small master. But it matters not. Your right to command me will be judged in battle. Huh? Oh. Where? Where is it? Ah! Aha! Now to arms! Oh, I didn't think I was gonna fight him. Oh, shit. You're not a smart guy, are you? Yeah, that looks like it hurts. Buddy, you are a big pain in the ass. Why? Why have you chosen to fight me? I got countered hard. A lot, like, cause um, you, you good? Oh, well, oh, that's a nice dress, buddy. Yo, what the hell? Okay, I wasn't okay. I didn't expect this. I was expecting like him to pull out like a super move. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Alrighty, buddy, you you did not do very good. Fireball! Fireball! You are a weird looking man. Who are you, weird genie? Fireball! Okay, I guess we're at uh, ooh. Defend. Oh. You're done for. Why are you smacking me with your collagen, you bastard? Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked. Oh my god! Are you gonna pull out another fire sword? <laughs> it's funny, he has a dress. Oh, an umbrella. Nice. Flippin' heck, he is really going to try and poke you with that parasol. Now your chance to give him what he's in for, Ollie Boy. Kill him, kitty cat, kill him. Kill him, kill him. They tried you hard, buddy. You're not that guy. Get out of here. Come on. Come on. Man, this is intense. Interesting boss, though. Come on. Pull out another umbrella. Pull it out. And now, war they to fight me. Oh. oh, it's a flaming sword again. Let's go. 
happy looks? Why do Mike look so happy when he pulls that out? Oh no, oh no. Okay, okay, ooh, okay. Fireball, go! Go, Mr. Beans! Kill him, Mr. Beans! Get him, Mr. Beans! Kill him! Defend, Mr. Beans! Defend! Oh, he's not even after me. How's it going, buddy? Hopefully you pull out another uh, umbrella for me. Oh my god! Stop getting countered, Mr. Beans, and kill him! Hubba bottle? Oh, okay, I don't know what that is. That's new. Hubba bottle. I'm kind of scared. I'm just gonna defend. See what happens. Hubba bottle? Oh, it just explodes. The pot just explodes. Okay. Oh, we got countered. Good counter, bitch. I need one ready for me. I just heal myself. Ask me to ask her. I need you to like. Defend. Come on, get after him. He's almost dead. Come on. What are you gonna pull out, buddy? Another umbrella? Come on. Come on. Nope. Your mom's stressed. Yo, let's go! I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Die! Thank God. Please. Be more worthy of fighting me. Nice touch. What a weak genie he was. A very weak genie. Hell yeah. 620. Oh my god. 5 to 9. 18 to 19. 1 to 9. Nice. 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 Ha ha ha. Why would I, he just attack? Ah, uh, ah, uh, why would he just attack us like that? Phew, are you okay, Oliver? Oh, your name is Oliver, Master. I'm sorry. Oh, my evil surgeon, Master Oliver, your prowess in battle is unsuppressed. Graceful, fearsome, yet merciful, truly you are a master of worthy of El Karim, genie of the pot. Genie. That's right, Ali boy. Every cauldron has a genie inside of it, see? They do what's known as alchemy for you, but they have to test you first to see if you're worthy, ain't it? That's why the big red Brutus started it started on you. Nothing personal like it. If you if you're after a culture, it's the only way. It's tradition, you see. Jeez, you could have warned me, Mr. Drippy. Huh, but first I laid eyes on it, Master. Your diminutive size worried me most judiciously. But you have humbled me, you have reminded me that a book may never be judged by its cover, no matter how improvised it may be. I bow to you, Master, now and forever. Pleased to meet you, too. You attain a cauldron. Master, I must pay you tribute. Please accept these humble gifts. You attained a bottle of pixie juice. You attained a bunch of sour grapes. You attained three bundles of slumber, not leaves. You must combine these items with a powerful acme. They will produce a most powerful, wondrous, and magical result. Ah, uh, now, Master, it seems you still need an instruction and conference in these cauldrons. There are two ways to acme. When you possess the alchemy formula of the item, you desire slippy select the following formula, and you shall have it in an instant. But you should not possess the formula, you must select and mix match to combine ingredients to your heart's content. I pray you will produce more wondrous material, Master. For your first steps on the path of alchemy, I may recommend that you follow a formula do not run before you can walk, Master. And for this, your first alchemy experiment, I present you as also with a formula. Behold. Nice! Well, thank you, I guess. Master, you, you must use the formula I gave you. 
Follow the formula. Spirit Jew. Okay, let's make it. Yes, this one. Abolish Spirit Jew. I can't. I can't take the genie so seriously. Dear God. It is a success, Master. Truly a work of wonder. The culture is capable of many more sir, such miracles. It can produce weapons, armor, medicals, and treasures of every kind. You must take your wizard companion in hand and try all the alchemy arts have to offer. I will, Mr. Genie, sir. Thank you very much. I look forward most humbly to serving you, Master. Ha ha ha. There's useful aid at Ollie Boy. Now we just need to bag ourselves a boat and all will be tied, Lily. Let's go, Mr. Drippy. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. I will catch you guys uh, next episode.